Yeah, speaking about throwback albums, uh, my album is Everything That Was Alive by Slow Dive. Now, Slow Dive and uh, My Bloody Valentine were two really big, like they were the two big shoegaze bands back in the 90s. And everybody loves Loveless by My Bloody Valentine. But I feel like Suvlaki is maybe the Pepsi to Loveless's Coke. And I prefer it. Uh, I've always liked Slow Dive more than I've liked My Bloody Valentine. Um, when it comes to shoegaze, when it comes to like, I, I think I think Suvlaki is probably one of my favorite albums from the '90s. Um, and they've you know they've kept up their career. They uh, released another album back in 2017, and it was pretty good. And then this one came out, and I don't know, it's, it's sort of a disappointing album. I was really excited to see the Slow Dive, you know, in my feed with a new record, but it really, the tones were like, I really liked the guitar tones. I really liked the production, but they didn't really seem to be a whole lot that stood out to me. Um, it does seem like they are adapting with the times. I mean, this sounds like a very different album than Suvlaki did, but at the same time, it just kind of sounds like them mix, mixed with like, I don't know, like Beach House and The War on Drugs. And like, they've taken some contemporary influences and they really haven't done very much with it there there's not a whole lot on this album that is like i would say like it's all like solid pretty good but there's nothing really here that sticks out to me that's like wow i really like that song that was an amazing song like like songs on suvlaki i mean i can bring up i i can hear any song on that album and and you know know exactly where it comes from basically know how long it is you know just and same thing on Pygmalion, like their their next album, like two really good records in a row, and then sort of fell off after that. They had a big breakup, came back 10 years later in 2004, and I just, I don't think they're the same. Good to have some contrast with the stuff that like, oh, I love this, to be like, <laughs> you know, this album, mid. I enjoyed this album. Kisses was a standout track for me. Um, mm. I, I was playing that one a lot. Um, but I, I kind of agree in that Meshuke is as a genre, right? Is very sort of like, you know, it's, it's all, it's up, it's up here, right? It's sort of like ethereal. It's kind of cloudy, you know, it's not really going to you know, drive you to be like super focused in on, on the music for me. Um, and this album was, was that front to back pretty much. Um, you know, I, I never had a moment where I was taken out of it and it's like, oh, I don't, I don't like this. Um, but I also never, I, I also didn't have many moments of, oh, this is really neat and interesting. And this is like, this is connecting with me. Um, I am I'm looking at like a sort of a blown up cover of the album art right now. And I really want to do the maze. I don't know if anyone else did that. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, but like, I want to, I want to like take a crayon and do that on a California pizza kitchen. Table. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about that? I, um, I, uh, I thought um slow dive so when they came out their 2017 album um i thought they was just they just had their um 93 album and then they got back together in 2017 but i guess i'm wrong <laughs> i'm looking at all these other albums um just because i in my mind i just think of their um suvlaki album which i've heard before but i don't really remember it um but yeah i, I kind of just agree with like everything tim said i um I think there were moments on the album I, I did like. I, I There were some songs that were, were I felt like were way better than others. Um, and I totally get the influence that you're saying with like the War on Drugs and um, Beach House. Like it, it definitely has that kind of um, vibe to it. Um, so but I don't but I, then again, I don't really remember the um, their classic sound. So it's hard, it's hard to relate, I guess, in a way. I'm going to have to go back and listen to it because you speak so highly of it so but yeah it was it wasn't i don't think it was terrible or anything but i think um there were some better songs than others uh i like the album i think probably more than than other people on this call i i enjoyed it um i've i've only listened to slow dive casually i haven't really gotten into their older stuff honestly <laughs> um but i really liked it so i'm i'm excited to kind of get into more if this is mid slow dive then i'm excited for their really good stuff um <laughs> I really liked Andal Andalusia plays and kisses. 
Those are good songs. It was, it was, um, I don't know. I just had a nice night to myself late, late night, one night, like maybe 11 PM altered my mind a little bit and um, listened to this album and, and it really hit kind of in that state. So I'm really excited to listen to the other stuff now because I, I like this one. Um, yeah. Yeah. It reminded me, I, I didn't have time to get super into it, but it reminded me a lot of listening to beach house and like, I don't know. I, I also haven't listened to their older stuff, so um, I'm not sure how it compares, but it just reminded me of that feeling and like kind of just letting it play and not really, uh, you know, paying attention to which song is on and just kind of vibing out to it. So, yeah, I liked it. I listened to Depression Cherry like a couple of days ago and had, yeah, it, the comparison is absolutely there. Um, but Depression Cherry's got more of those sort of high moments. Yeah, I think I think Beach House and War on Drugs, they have, even in their more ambient songs, like, they have riffs period mm-hmm. this this album doesn't really have any hooks there's no like noticeable riffs on this just like you know playing i don't know really atmospheric uh, like fuzzed out guitar in the background and maybe some leads but there's nothing catchy on it like uh you know they're uh, i i could hear any any beach house song and be like oh yeah i know what that, i know what that is and same thing with war on drugs just because even though that there's like a lot of fuzz in the background you can hear certain interesting things going on in the songs that you know if you're just unfocused you're doing something else you're washing the dishes you're doing homework or whatever you can zone it out but if you're really trying to listen to it and enjoy it everything is is memorable and i feel like this this album kisses was kind of memorable but like prayer remembered that is such a slow boring song where nothing was going on andalusia plays kind of the same thing i don't know uh, it's it's vibe if you're gonna alter your mind and chill out you know this <laughs> this is a good way to do it but if you're really trying to like listen to a complex textured album especially shoegaze stream pop album this is probably not the one it is super ambient that's a, mm-hmm. that's a good way to put it like the, especially the beginning of the album it like comes in super ambient like, I, I was playing starfield at the time and it kind of fit <laughs> mm. but um but yeah yeah, I'm excited. Okay, cool. I'm excited to, to listen to their old stuff. They have more hooks and stuff. Because you're right, it doesn't it doesn't have a ton of hooks or leads or the songs all kind of flow into each other. Like mm-hmm. it, it all kind of sounds like one long song. I don't think I like I, I played That's cool. you know a hour long atmospheric metal album and and, and Cigarettes for my past two albums. So I like ambient, but I like having something going on. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I missed the uh, the the ambient metal album. Yeah, uh, <laughs> what the hell does that to sound like? The Mantle by Agalock. Oh yeah, Sweet. oh yeah. You probably yeah, was, that was cool. <laughs> it wasn't everyone's cup of tea, but I like it a lot. Um, I'm gonna say a light six to a strong five on this one. Nice. You never and know. You know when, you, when you put these up, you know you you assume you're gonna like it. You know. You know, I thought Tim was like liking this album, you know, but I guess, you know, that's not how necessarily how it works. You know, I like the band a lot, but that yeah. one's like, right. you wanted to talk about it. That's what uh-huh. 